The opinions expressed in the following program are not necessarily those of Eastlink Community TV, its sponsors, or partners. Mama Cooking Experience. Welcome everybody to today's edition of Mama G's Cooking Experience, brought to you by East Link Community TV. We're here at the Nowhere Public House with my bestie, Caitlin, and we are going to make... Leha Bidikas. Which is a... Finnish meat pie. Fun. So, let's get started. Okay. What are we making first? So we have... Uh, about three and a half cups of milk here with some yeast. Okay. So we're just gonna add that to the pot first. We're making the dough. Cool beans. Okay. Now if you wanna add uh, some melted butter. Okay. And we're gonna put this recipe in our, uh, on our website so everybody can yeah. get it later. We got butter, we got some uh, whipped eggs here. Is it egg yolks and the whites? Full, yeah, perfect. Full, full egg. Okay, we got sugar. Ooh, fun. Do you, does it just go in the middle? You sprinkle it yeah, on? Yeah, and then we're gonna whisk it all together. Fun. I love whisking. And a little salt. I like whisking too. It's very therapeutic. Okay, whisk away there, Gates. Okay, fun. With the larger one. Yeah. Just because I'm little yeah. doesn't mean I get a little <laughs> whisk. <laughs> You might notice a difference in height. It's all good. <laughs> oh, that's a nice bowl. It's a good bowl. Yeah, it is a good bowl. Guess we're just gonna whisk it away, break it all up, and then... Uh, Are you trying to cool any of it down? A little bit, but we're gonna... Do you want to whisk in butter, or do you want me to flour? I'll whisk. Are we putting all this flour? We are, but we're gonna go one cup at a time. Okay. So we'll whisk it until it gets too thick, and then Kay. we'll start uh, mixing it with a spoon. And then our hands, Fine. and then, then the dough comes out of the table, or the bowl. Cool. So while we're whisking, why don't we talk about yeah. you and your business? Yeah. So tell me. Yeah, so uh, we're at uh, Nowhere Public House, and we opened in June of 2021, which was, uh, we were still in a pandemic, so Bill yeah. and I took over the space, and it was March. It took a few months to get everything together and open. Um, and at that time, too, uh, Pa it was just patios that were opening. Yeah. So like it was like locked down in January, February, oh. and then come June, it was just patios. So I remember like Bill and I sitting here and we're like, um, are we gonna be open for patio season? Are we gonna be open for, and we just weren't and we didn't wanna also just compete with everybody who's yeah. like, you know what I mean? Yeah. So like that's fine. And then so like Bill and I just ended up going to the patios and having beers ourselves <laughs> somewhere else, you know? We're well, like, that's no. what I did too at, at Perkins. You know what I mean? I had no choice. Yeah. I had no business. Yeah. yeah. You know? Yeah. So what did you do during that time? Um, I created a patio. You did, eh? Because I didn't have one. Like I had the space, but I didn't have it. And then uh, I gave in to the social medias of Skip the Dish. Oh, you did, eh? Uh, yeah. yeah, because I had a hotel yeah. to support. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so it was okay. It was okay. It yeah. wasn't that bad. What a weird time, though, you know? So weird. And it's like, and we had masks on and like people coming in. It's like, oh, you got to sign in. And like, you know, so like we opened during this really bizarre time. And people are like, you guys are crazy. Like, what are you doing? You know? And we're like, well, we. Just want to do this. Like this is exactly what it's we want to be doing. Better than sitting at home and yeah, watching the, the news. news. Yeah, exactly. So no. here we are, two years later. Look, you know. Look how nice this dough is turning out. It looks almost like pancake batter. It does. Right now. Yeah. See, this is. I give you the easy job. Just putting well, this in. This we is can a, switch. This is all for man. You know. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> You're a lot taller. It'll be easier. That's for you. true. <laughs> <laughs> like <have it. laughs> so, how did you learn no. about this recipe? Uh, yeah. So, um, I've been making these exact pies with my family, my mom, and my mumu. So, my it in Finnish is uh, mom, and my mumu is grandma in Finnish. Nice. And uh, there's two different styles of them actually. So, this is like the closed face, like traditional empanada you know like folded okay. and then there's an open face one with rye flour which um 
Is that what we're going to yeah. make over there? At Seasons with uh, Erica. That funny dough? That funny it, flower? It, yeah, it's rye flour. Well, it's the, pink, funny. the pink bag. Was it? No, it wasn't pink. Oh. Oh, well then that must Anyways. be another, that must be something else. <laughs> it's just a, it's with a really, really nice rye flour. And so those are my favorite. I call those and these like my prison food. Like this is my last meal, you know? Oh, I, 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 I would that. have like a dozen. I'm like, cool, I can die now. <laughs> Send me to execution, you know? <clears throat> you make me laugh. Yeah, okay, so now this is getting thick. So now we're I'm switching gonna use to the hand or spoon? wooden spoon. Did I bring it over? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, this is like the best also beer snack. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah, have a pint or four beer. and then, you know, get an order or two of these. Fun. Yeah. So yeah, I've been making these for a really long time with my fam, usually around Christmas. And Do they come yeah. in sweet form or they only no, savory? savory? Savory, yeah. You could. No, I'm, no, I'm a savory gal. Yeah, yeah, I get I it. I like it salty. Me too. Salt, oh, salt, eh? salt and beer, man. Yeah, exactly. It's my favorite. This is actually looking really good. It is. Yeah. I'm excited to get my hands on it. Yes. Oh, you will. Oh. You will. Fantastic. Okay, so yep. let's talk about. Let's talk about what do you, what do you hope to see here? What do you, what is your future goal for yeah. this place? What would be like the best nowhere public house success story? Honestly, I think we're. Like, I don't know if this sounds, it just, we're on track. Like we're having all kinds of cool community events. We're, cool. we're bringing in all kinds of people. I think more success would be having uh, Mama G come and cook here for the community a lot more, you it's know? It's happen. Um, I, I think, love this kitchen. I love, <laughs> I just want to see more like uh, cooks and, and foodies coming through and, and having these kind of community events and like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Good food, good local food. Good Local people. celebrity chefs. Yeah. yeah. Celebrity. <laughs> Channel 10. <laughs> Eastlink Community TV. <laughs> exactly. So, yeah. That's what I see, Gates. That's what I see. That's fun. Yeah. That's fun. Okay. So, this dough looks like it's coming together. Yep. Real you, nice. Do you want to... Uh, you want me to start stirring and you put in the rest? You or do you want some... big guns. Do right. you, no, but we can start getting our hands on it now. Okay, cool. Because it's thickening up. So, do you want gloves or... No. No, okay. Oh. Do. I've never, and I'll tell everybody this, yeah. I never did gloves ever. Um, I am 100% oh, wash your hands, hands with hot yes. water and soap yeah. because when you have the All glove day. on, you think, oh, my hands yes. are clean. Yeah, your hands are clean, but the gloves are not. Yeah. Yeah. I'm with you. For this, I just feel like sometimes yeah, And you I can't do. tell texture with yeah. gloves no, on. No, this is true. Right? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to put this in and then we'll start rolling it with a hand. Yep. Fun. Do you want it all in? No. Yep. Yeah? Well, not not at the, just gradually. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You ready? Yeah, go for it. Let's see how the pros do it. I'll start from the top and bring your stuff down. I love it. Here what's you your this? favorite, what's your, what's your favorite kind of breads to make? Oh, I'm a Jewish bread, buddy. I love challah bread. Yeah, eh? I love making I it. I love the feel of the dough. It's soft. It's it feels like this. It feels like this kind of dough right here. It's sweet bread. Yep. Yep. Eggs. Lots of eggs. Milk. Uh, butter. But like you have minimal. Like like I yeah. saw you probably had like three two. eggs. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Cool. So let's add some more. I find this dough varies between like one cup of flour. Some days I go full 12 and some days I go 11. So pro oh, tip, yeah. you ready? Yeah. If it's raining outside or if it's high snow or if you live high in the altitude, your doughs and will be different. So you gotta make sure if it's raining, use less, use uh, more flour. If it's super dry outside, you're gonna use more water. It's, mm. just, it's just science. Yeah, it's basic basic uh I don't know basic cooking well, I guess I don't know what the term it's is it's kind of what outside yeah yeah so that would be okay so we're going to roll this yeah. into a ball and we're going to let this sit for how long an hour and a half all right yeah well cool when we come back we're going to show how to make the filling for this beautiful dough Margie's cooking experience Mama 
Mama G's cooking experience. Welcome back to Mama G's cooking experience. We're here at Nowhere Public House with Caitlin. And tell us what we've done with this dough. Yeah, so we have uh, proofed it for about an hour and a half. Okay. Let it rise a little bit. Uh, it's pretty soft, so we're gonna add a lot of flour to just hold it. We want we don't want it to kind of shrink back down. Perfect. So I've rolled it out a little bit. Um, I don't know, it's a half inch or so. The way I tell how thick or thin the dough is is how much I can see through it to the table. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna roll it out nicely, nicely. This is the labor of love here, folks. This is where you taste every little roll, you know? Yep. This is the elbow grease. This is therapeutic. Yeah. This is why I find therapeutic to just roll yeah. out bread and I've, dough. I've truly mastered it now. And then this is the most important kitchen gadget. It is a juice container lid. And I... Uh, so technical. I, uh, I, I, gi I give all the credit to my mom. I love yeah. your mom. So she brought this in for me. And so we're just going to cut, I don't know, how, how many centimeters is that? That's probably like five inches. So yeah. So it's a five, five inches or so. And we just cut some rounds. That's so smart. Yeah. There you and go. And then that's that. Oh, we got a little trail. How many of these do you think you would get out of your batch? So we're hoping for, yeah, 70. 70? Yeah. Okay. See? We do this all day long. All day. All day long. Oh, it's so nice. So I would add even a little bit more flour just because I don't want them to, sh to shrink, but they're looking pretty good because you don't want the, the shape to change. Yeah, and you don't want to stick to the table yeah, either. Yeah, exactly. And they're even a little bit fat, so. We like the fat. fat yeah. But we just want to make sure we're getting enough yield, right? Yeah. There's nothing worse than making a batch and you're like, ooh, I'm not we're short. We're short about 30. All chefs have been there. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. We're here at Nowhere Public House and we are with Caitlin and we are going to make the filling for our Liha Birikas. Da da da. There we go. So, talk to me, babe. What yes, do we have sure. in there? Okay, so we're making the filling. We're cooking down some uh, onions a bit to start. And then we have some uh, medium ground beef. Perfect. This is from Daylu Farms, just uh, down Highway 17 East. Awesome. Really beautiful place. They're raising really beautiful cattle. Um, yeah, so we're gonna add that first. So did you start off with a fat in there? You got butter. Anything? Yeah. Butter? Yeah, always okay. butter. You could use oil, but I think butter is always better. It's and we're creamy putting and it's creamy sweet yeah. and beautiful. And the dough has butter, so you know, keep, yeah. you know. It works together. Yeah works together, unlike canola oil, oil yeah, which exactly. we don't like, except for deep frying, that's it, yeah, honestly. Yeah. I mean, we use some of it here for just like our dumplings and whatever, yeah. but yeah. Yeah, I get Yeah, that. no, this beef is fantastic. It looks really nice, got nice yeah. fat content to yeah. it. And the fat is nice and white versus being yellow. Why would we care if the fat is different from yellow to white? A yellow fat is an older cow. A white Ooh. fat is a younger cow. And I know some people will fight me and say, oh, it's their diet. At the end of the day, you want white fat, not yellow fat. It really depends what you're doing. If you're making spaghetti sauce, the yellow fat doesn't really matter. But if you're making like something where the meat is predominant, go for the white fat. Fair. Good tips, good tips. Yeah, I'm missing a good tool um, of mine, so I'm gonna let this cook, keep cooking. Okay. And I'm gonna go grab that. Fun beans. Okay, so I have a pro question for you. Yeah, sure. So I always season this, of course, obviously with salt. What is the best time to add the salt? Anybody who watches my show knows that we only season at the end. Cool, okay. Because you never, you can't tell how salty is your butter. How right, salty, salty yeah, and you're you not gonna eat I mean? raw meat. No, well, I do. Well, sure, okay. I do. Yeah, okay. <laughs> but typically, right? Yeah. You're not supposed to, but yeah. I do. Yeah, because, you know, you're a pro. You know what you're doing. Well, you can tell the difference between a good, fresh, raw meat and a, uh, it's been in the fridge for too long. It's questionable. Just yeah. cook it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so this is cooking. Fun. So what is, talk to me about this. Yeah, sure. So um, this is my secret ingredient for the mix. So I've taken my mom's recipe and then it created my own. Fun. Added a few extra things. So this is a finished mustard. So they're really like deep, rich in flavor. Here, try some. You want to try some? Yeah. Ooh, it's brand new. Yeah. Ooh, is that ever dark? Hey! Oh, yeah. 
Okay, so oh, it gives man, it. Is it, that ever good? It just gives it like this whole other layer of like savoriness in the meat pie, and then Where do you so get also, that? so this is at Lena's. They're not open at the moment because they're renovating, right? So they're moving over to uh, Eddie's next to Eddie's, and that's strip mall. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. Where the barbershop um, was. But this is like a family staple. Like when I go visiting, this is like that's what I have so to bring. Good. They got mild, medium, and hot. Yeah. Um, so this is nice, nice like, not spicy. Tastes almost like. Like if mustard had honey or, or it's like a sweet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the texture is yeah. so creamy. Yeah. Yeah, you nice. won me over. Yeah. You won me over. I so wanna, I add that now, but my my, my at home. definitely did not, you know? And then I also add pickle brine. I add pickle brine to anything I can. <laughs> that's me. Me in I a nutshell. I love pickle brine, but not in my Caesars. Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> about that. No, it's a, it's a necessary. No. So we're gonna add pickle brine in this. Are we okay with that? Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. I put it in. I you cook pickle it. brine instead of vinegar when I make my salad dressings. Okay, cool. You know? Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. So how much more stuff do we need to add to this? So yep. it's onions, meat. Yep. We're gonna add the mustard. We're gonna add fresh parsley, not dry. Beauty. And then the pickle brine, and I just do all of that to taste, and then salt. So once that is. Uh, well mixed and cooked. Then we add a uh, cow rose rice, which is a sticky rice. Yep. So that when we're forming it, it kind of compacts and it's not falling all over the place. Cool. And so kind of like an arancini. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, that's what uh, the filling is, which doesn't take too long to do, but Fun. the meat is still cooking down. And how long do you think that it would take you? How much is? How long is the process from beginning to end? Depends how many people you have working with you. Yeah, this is true. This is right? True. Uh, so my mom and I do it here uh, every couple weeks. Yeah. Uh, takes us five hours between two people. Oh, and that's not bad. And we make like 90. That's not bad. Yeah. That's a good haul. Yeah. Is this one of your highest selling items on your menu? It is, yeah. Which is nice. Yeah. It's like the most soulful thing you can order. You know what I mean? Fun. We have all kinds of other fun snacks, but like this is like your family snack tradition. Trays are beautiful. Yeah. Thank you. Oh yeah, I was good. very surprised. The smoke fish, also nice. Yeah. Listen, I'm not gonna lie. It came out. I saw it. I'm like, oh no. Why? Because I'm not a big smoke fish. Oh person. yeah, 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 yeah. But then I tried it, and I was like, oh man, it's so good though. It's really nice. That's also the very texture Scandinavian. was perfect. Cool. The texture was perfect. I'm textural. Okay. I'm textural. And yeah, I was textural. perfect. I'm textural. <laughs> <laughs> well, but I didn't I didn't catch that fish. I didn't smoke that fish. I didn't make you know what I mean? That's okay. But you got people. Yeah, we got people. <laughs> but that's why I think this is the best thing on the menu. Because you know? this is all homemade. This is all this is all heart, you know? Yeah. This is how I feel when I make my toxi eyes. Of course. Yeah. <clears throat> you know, the French Canadians and and the French Canadians, the true French Canadians right. will take a bite and be yeah. like, oh, this was done by a French girl. They know. Person. they know. For sure, you can taste it. What is your ratio of meat in your tortillere? I do a 60-40 blend. 60 pork, 40 beef. 60 pork, 40 beef. Okay. Traditionally, it would be yep. 30, 30, and 40. Pork, beef, and veal. That's right. Yeah. Hold or the veal. Mousse. Yeah. Nice. Preferable. Yeah. yeah. If, if you can get it. If you can get it. Okay, so now that we got the filling, when we come back, we're gonna do the assembly. So I'm very excited for that. Mama's cooking experience. cooking experience now that our dough is rolled what's our next step yep so we're gonna grab a, a tablespoon and load about like I don't know one heaping two heaping uh, my my technical measurements are never you know Doesn't what I mean matter. it's like it's like a feeling thing right yeah so it's All like two is. yeah so it's like a two you know I would take about in. three ounces okay maybe three and a half so we don't want to like morph the dough we don't want to like stretch it out too much but so we just fold it in and then pinch it really well. We don't use water to seal it. Don't no? find it needs it. There's a lot of butter in there, so I think it just holds really nicely. 
beautiful. Yeah. And then, uh, so it's a half moon. And then, just want to make sure it's symmetrical. Looks pretty. Yeah, man. And then we just fold the corner over. Oh, like a little crown. Like a yeah. Oh, kind of looks like a little dumpling, you know? That's not little. <laughs> a big dumpling, but yeah. And then we just do that, you know, a bunch more. Fun. And how me? long do we, how long do we uh, bake this for? Yeah, so we're going to bake them for about seven minutes at about 400 degrees on low. So you oh. want to pack that in. <laughs> yeah, my hands yeah. are so little. Hold it. Okay, Arnold Schwarzenegger, I got this. And I even just rotate them after like three minutes in the oven so they get an even bake. We have a nice convection oven, but the if fan's you, nice, but it doesn't do it all, you know? You just no, want a nice, I perfect, know. even golden pie. I'm afraid of stretching the dough. That's my fear. You want to stretch it a little bit, but you just don't want to overstretch it and change the shape. I think every culture has a, yes. a type of... 100%. You know, the that Mexicans have empanadas. Yep. Jamaican beef patty. Oh, yeah, the beef patties. Yeah. I love. Mike makes a great beef patty. Uh, English pasty or British pasty. What is it? Pasty, pasty. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know? I, somebody was just telling me about that the other day. Uh, it's like I don't a, think I've had one, but I understand. You can put anything oh, in there. This is a nicer. pizza pocket, you know? This is nicer than mine. Well, I've been doing it for a minute or seven. Yeah. Okay, you win this round. Okay, I'm going to do another one. Please. Cool. Oh, it looks so sad. No, it doesn't. No, it's true. But it, I'm just perfect. perfect. Yeah, there you go. See? Bingo. So we've taken these out of the oven. They probably were in there for like, what, 15 minutes? Probably. Even. Okay. So what did you do before you put them in the oven? Yeah, so we uh, washed them with an egg wash to get a nice golden brown. And then we... Uh, do you put water in your egg wash? No. Just straight no, egg? Yeah, sometimes man, we, I tried with milk and I'm like, meh, just it's a good... It's not a nice glaze. Consistent, yeah, golden brown. And then we uh, dusted them with some sesame seeds just for a little cute texture, you know? Fun. Yeah. So how would we eat this? How would I see that we have different things that we're presenting yep. it with? Yeah, so um, the way I typically eat them is um, I would open it up or cut it in half even. There you go. Yeah, and then I like to just add a little mustard, pin mustard. We're bringing that back out. Yeah, man. Everybody yeah. needs to get a Atlanta tube of this. Yeah. And uh, I'm just going to like kind of, you know, add it as I go. Ooh, Enjoy. fun. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, with pickles and cheese on the side as just a snacking kind of thing. Goes well with a nice local craft beer. Ooh, and, nice. Uh, yeah, you got a, you got yourself a nice little bite. Hmm. It's hot. Mmm. Mmm, that's so good. So yeah. good. Mmm. Can you taste the pickle brine in there? Not really. Oh, I can now. It's at the end. It's not a first flavor, it's a second flavor. Mm -hmm. This is really good. I basically want to eat food that I can put mustard and pickles on. Like, that's my premise of favorite foods. It's like, can it be eaten with pickles? Can it be eaten with mustard? <gasps> that seems like a whole new Pretty show. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> I'm down. I'm down. I want to take two seconds here to uh, thank Eastlink Community TV um, for letting us have this show. And I want to thank you, Caitlin, thank you. for letting us film here today and learn about these, what are they called again? Liha Biricas. Liha Biricas. They're fantastic. I learned something new. It's exciting. Oh, let's cheers, my friend. Cheers. Cheers to friendship, beers, and pies. Yes. Cheers. <laughs>